Welcome, Cancers. I'm back, y'all, with another video. Yes, I've been in my A for about three, four weeks, but that's because I was moving. All right, so that process is finally completed and I'm settling in. So I'm back, y'all. I missed y'all so much. So, so, so much. All right, so let's see what we got going on for the cancer cancer the sun moon rising venus guys this is a general read okay so it's not going to resonate with everyone if it happens to resonate great leave me a thumbs up be sure to comment in the comment section below all right so it looks like some of you guys have definitely freed yourself from a situation and decided to take back control of your life okay for sure like I'm getting a lot of you guys are leveling up in love, okay? There is possibly already have been a heart-to-heart -heart conversation about taking things to the next level or there is getting ready to be things talked about about taking things to the next level. It looks like an engagement and a wedding here, okay? And you're very optimistic about this, okay? Some of you are reconciling with a, a past person. Some of you have new love coming in or a new love interest that has been come, that has came in maybe six months to a year in and you guys are trying to take things to the next level but i feel like some of you guys are peeping peeping out things like people's games we got playfulness and pay attention to the red flags okay um i'm getting a lot of passion here as well i'm getting a lot of trips being taken retreating disconnected from everybody and you and your person really getting closer and closer some of you had to let go of an ex okay and you're focused in zooms in on your finances and your careers okay so it looks like okay some of you, I did see that um, some of you are releasing an ex. Some of you guys are letting a past person go, okay? You're letting this person go because the situation is unrequited. It's unbalanced. Like, you you don't feel like there's equal give and take in the situation, okay? And so, a lot of you guys may have felt like that person was your soulmate. Or some of you guys feel like you're already in a connection right now with your soulmate. And the, your past person who has possibly been lingering around, you're feeling like this situation is unrequited. We know exactly what it is that you deserve, okay? And a lot of you guys are just being open to new love, being open to new adventures, new things. I love this energy for you guys, for sure. For sure, for sure. Love that energy. Okay, so let's get a read here for Cancer and their person. Okay, tell me what's going on with Cancer's person here. What's going on for Cancer's person here? Tell me more about Cancer's person. Lover, love interest. And the person on Cancer's mind, tell me. All right, so I'm getting that there could have possibly been some... Um, just a lot of possibly confusion going on, um, misunderstandings with the Four of Wands. There could have been someone who's married here with that Five of Swords. There just could have been some pettiness going on. Someone's not responding or not answering their calls or someone saying, not telling someone whether or not they're single or not. Okay, you could be spying on someone. Um, you want to see if they feel regretful for lying and getting caught lying or cheating. Yeah, you know, someone could possibly have a secret relationship, something going on on the side. Maybe you're spying to see what's going on, okay? You're trying to see what's going on. So there could have been some bumps in the roads in a long-term relationship or a marriage here. Yep, you're trying to figure this out, the fool and the nine of wands. The death card, okay, yep. So it looks like you guys are coming out of a period of... It looks like you're trying to put it into issues that's possibly going on in your home life or your um, relationship, okay? Yeah. You're putting in effort, but see, somebody's over here doing a lot of sneaking, telling lies, and something sneaky going on. We got the chariot, which is you guys' energy, and the queen of wands. 
I do want to see about the Five of Swords here. King of Wands. You could be dealing with the Fire Sign, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries. But this person could be kind of problematic, you know? This person could be a disappointment to you. You feel like this person is disappointing you with their actions, okay? Somebody, oh, I'm getting, I'm going to wait for a real man or a real woman. Ooh, I'm going to wait for the real thing. Or I'm the real thing on this way. Ooh. Yeah, see, it looks like y'all are trying to make somebody regret their actions, how they moving. Tell me more about the four of wands. The strength card. Leo. Okay. Leo. You could have something going on serious with the Leo, a Gemini, or an Aquarius, or a uh, Libra. This person could be giving you stability. And you could be getting ready. Some of you guys made a making a decision to cut somebody off. I felt that. Like some of you had a new person and then some you had some guy or girl lingering from the past here. Why is the death card here? Yeah. I feel like you possibly don't know how. You don't know what to believe. You don't know if this person is being honest with you. Um... You don't know if this person is just trying to fast talk you to win you back over. But I feel like you're making, you're standing firm, firm and making a final decision to move on from a situation. I feel like you feel like you waited long enough and a decision needs to be made, okay? You're tired of, you know, you're looking for something real, something solid. Like, you maybe some of you just don't know how to tell this person that, hey, I don't, this... This is not what I want anymore. I have something else going on. I got something better going on. I'm getting some, uh, a lot of drinking, okay? Maybe you guys may have been partying a little too much in the past. I'm getting a lot of partying, a lot of possibly like smoking, you know, some weed or a lot of drinking or whatever. I'm getting that you guys are partying a lot in the past. Oh, that I'm getting you spying. Okay, I'm getting... No, this is your partner's energy. This person is spying on you. Somebody's trying to make somebody jealous. Okay. Somebody's trying to make somebody jealous. Why is the Eight of Pentacles here? Yep. Mm-hmm. Six of Pentacles and a Five of Wands. Somebody's trying to get some payback here. You want some payback or your person wants some payback? Somebody wants payback for sure, for sure. Somebody did not answer a phone call or didn't respond back. And somebody's trying to make somebody jealous here. Now, the person that you're dealing with, possibly from your past... They feel like you're running around, that you're being sneaky. So this could be them trying to make you jealous. I feel like this is them trying to make you jealous. I feel like this person is getting ready to reach out to you. After a period of no communication. Okay, so somebody's getting ready to reach out to someone here. Yep, someone's coming for some attention. Look at that. Someone's coming for some attention. Someone wants some attention. Okay. And somebody is saying, it ain't over yet. Ooh, this is your person. They're saying, hey. This ain't over yet. But right now, it looks like your person is trying to make you jealous. Trying to see if they can make you jealous. They said it ain't over yet. <laughs> oh, you thought it was over? No, it ain't over yet. <laughs> it ain't over yet. Come on back. I ain't done with you. <laughs> tell me more about tell me more about cancer's person. What does cancer person want to say to cancer? I am not available. So they might not be available right now. So many things remind me of you. It was my fault, but I blamed you. It's time for me to heal now. You and I were too young. You speak to me through music. 
So this person is going through some type of awakening. I'm starting to understand our connection. I want you. But I know I messed everything up. And this person is feeling like they're a distraction to you. But they want to feel, they want to be around you. They're, this person is definitely afraid to contact you. And they're waiting for a sign from you. Okay. Definitely a spiritual lesson. Okay. They're going through a spiritual, you taught them some type of lesson. But I feel like, I feel like this is a past person that is trying to make you jealous. A past person is trying to, their damnness to make you jealous. Okay, they're trying to make you jealous. They're spying on you. They're watching you. Um, and I feel like you guys are going through some type of period of uh, no contact with this person. But this person is still watching you. They're still watching. Let's get some advice. Give me a message for a cancer. Give me a message for my cancers. Thank you. All right, so we got, if you believe, we got to get more information and you're ready. Okay, so there's something that you need more information about. Okay, forgiveness. Somebody's coming in, going to be asking for forgiveness. So Spirit is saying, if you believe them, if you believe what they're saying, okay, make sure you got all the facts first before you forgive this person, okay? And don't let this person, don't let this person rush you because things are still unlikely. Even after a period of forgiveness, things are still, could be unlikely. Like this person could still be untrustworthy. This person could still be doing, you know, some sly stuff. Spirit is saying, wait, we got wait. Spirit is saying, there's no need for you to worry, okay? We got opportunities coming in for you. You've been praying and asking, and, and the angels are getting ready to present you with what you're asking for. But there may be a period of time for you to let this situation go, okay? We got romance. Some of you need to work on your health, improve, working on improving your health, and make sure you're having the right people around you. Be around people who are going to help uplift you, going to give you positive energy. Because this situation right here, there's a lot of missing pieces to the puzzle. And there's a lot of things that you may not know that you just don't have all the details to. So make sure you're getting all the details before moving forward or dealing with this person. Because this person seems like they want to come back around. All right, so you guys let me know what's going on in the comment section below. All right, if you're interested in booking a personal, all of that information is in the drop box below. As well, guys, be sure to check out my website. My website is www.empressempireoils.com. Okay, support your girl. All right, guys, until next time. Ciao.